Hey everybody, this is Jeff with uh, TGC Customs. Uh, in the shop today, a little impromptu video here we're going to throw up. Uh, pertains to a lot of questions I've got lately about the Kenner uh, style three and three quarter uh, custom action figures that I do. Uh, most of the figures I do are like this gentleman here on the left. I know we look like kind of like a Pulp Fiction Star Wars here. But uh, this was a custom order that came in. A uh, gentleman on the left is non-articulated. Figure static. He's been epoxied together. Uh, he's not going anywhere. Uh, when you order one of these, uh, you get the 6x9 card back with custom artwork on it. You get the bubble. You snap it together. You got a displayable figure. You know, it gives you that nostalgia feel of the of the old Kenner Star Wars line or some of their other lines too. But occasionally, you know, I'll get a customer who wants something articulated. I'd say 98% of them do not. They want the figure to where it's, you know, sealed in the bubble, display, conversation piece, whatever. But occasionally I'll get somebody who wants one articulated. And although uh, these 3D printer resin companies, they've made leaps and bounds with their resin. They make some, you know, that's super tough, super durable. Uh, flexible too uh, and most people use a combination of the two I believe in the next couple of years they'll be at, you'll be able to print a fully 100% playable toy that'll last just like a plastic injection molded toy would right now we're not they're not quite there but they're getting there so what I do for articulation the fella here on the right is articulated we use the earth magnets you can pose him you know you can Move him around if you want him in a sitting position, whatever. And the earth magnets are strong, so they'll hold him together. You can pose him how you want, get that articulation feel. This particular customer wanted one of each. Wanted one he could sell and pack, one he could leave out. Uh, ignore the noise over here that the printers are going. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to make this little video. I'm hoping to make some more videos and put some links uh, onto the Etsy shop. So if you got a question, or you're thinking about you know how how's this going to work once I get it you'll be able to click one of these links it'll take you to YouTube you can watch this little quick video it'll show you kind of how we do things like this um, static figure versus articulated uh, and I know it's a simple thing but it's a simple figure it's a you know five five points of articulation uh, that's what we add into it uh, you know you may get it when uh, and you say well it my, my it arrived in my arm is off well it's a magnet it pops right back on so uh that's kind of how i do them now to me that's the easiest it's the easiest for the person to articulate it's the easiest for them to display uh so while i had this this order on the bench uh getting ready to ship it out i just wanted to to make this little video like i said to explain that uh keep your eye out for more videos i'm going to go into depth on what uh kind of information i would need when you're ordering a figure i'm getting more and more questions about that likeness is, has become a big thing i'm trying to partner up with a with a site that will uh that will do conversion right now i hadn't so my customers have just been using whoever but trying to get that so keep an eye out for those videos be posting that stuff pretty soon also fixing to add a ton of stuff to the store a lot of uh vintage joe stuff a lot of new head sculpts um even some new uh custom earrings for the ladies and guys out there anyway you guys have a good day